Hi friends. Take a look at this snowman here in front of you. <laughs> I've been busy. I've been out here now I think three hours. I'm exhausted. I'm all out of wind. I don't think I could do much more of this. 55 years old. Come on with the tractors. Come on with the backhoes. This is exhausting work. Cleaning up after a three, a three day snowstorm. Not a snow day, a large snow event here in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. I can tell you that. Let me take you around and show you what I've done in the last few hours. Well, folks, welcome. Welcome to day three of our snow day. Actually, a snow weekend event, isn't it? Look at all the snow in my driveway again. I've had this cleared now two times. I cleared it on Friday, I cleared it on Saturday, and now this is Sunday morning, and I have to go out again and clear it. Yesterday, I hired a plow, a backhoe to come down and do this, because it was way too much snow here. And again today, there's still quite a bit more here now. Gotta get dressed, gotta get my snow blower out, and go out and clean up all this snow this morning. But first, folks, here's a few clips of that backhoe that I hired yesterday to do the driveway. It has a snowblower attachment onto it, and it made good time cleaning the driveway of all of the snow. Enjoy these couple of clips. So I'm outside now. It is around it is around lunchtime, 12 noon on Sunday. And I gotta get out at the snow again. Here's my uh, here's my shovel buried deep in the snow. I gotta get that out. Quite a bit of snow here again. I have to hit back toward my garage here now. Here's my garage way back there in the distance. Like I said, all this was cleared away on Friday was cleared away again yesterday Saturday and I must now get at it again today Sunday now back here where I'm walking right now there was at least there was at least two feet of snow here much more than I was willing uh, to uh, to get at with my snowblower so I hired a backhoe and the backhoe came down with the snowblower attachment and cleared all this away for me yesterday and look at it now all back here again lots more snow I've got to get inside the, the garage right there and get that garage door open because that's where my snowblower is so join me inside the garage will you now it was only a few days ago that i was wondering where all the snow went eh a friend of mine cat of the north from maine in the united states sent me a message she said, that's, that's exactly what she said she said you are wondering where all the snow went and just look at it it has come back in spades look at all the snow back here isn't this amazing Lots and lots of snow. Now, there's not a lot there in front of my garage door, so that's a good thing. So I can easily clear that away to get inside to get at the snowblower. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I'm here at my snowblower now, folks. I want to make sure that the gas is all topped up in this snowblower. Used this a couple of days ago. I didn't use it yesterday, because like I said, there was way too much snow out there yesterday. And I uh, went and hired, hired a backhoe to come down with a with a bucket and a snow blower attachment onto it to clear all the way the snow. But today, I'm gonna get out with this snow blower here. Now this house cover on the snow blower and do what I can to get rid of that snow. Okay, so that's topped up. Now, put the cover on, Gary. There we go. Make sure that's on nice and tight. Now, gotta give it a few squirts of gas. Okay, make sure the choke is on. Make sure the on switch is on. Now I'm going to start in a sec, but before I do that, I'm going to put up the garage door. Hey, take a look outside. I guess there's lots of snow out there. Okay, in front of the garage door, it's, it's pretty much up to my knee there, hey? So let's start this snow floor. I'm going to try 
want to clear away this snow now. folks making some pretty good progress here now and again i hope you can hear me over the sound of the snowblower we have the uh, vehicle started off here now and we're soon going to move them out of the uh, head of the driveway i got a lot of this done up here but out here now for about an hour or so all clear by the road here by the patio here by the step gotta clear off all those bridges yet gotta clear off here by the door quite a lot of snow since we had tobacco down here yesterday Clear most of this all away. Now, I think I need to get some more gas, put in my snowblower, so I'm going to do that and get back at it. And I'm hopeful that I'll finish this here, this section, very, very soon. Okay, coming out here now along the front of my garage here. Here's the two garage doors. I just put my snowblower in. Uh, it's been going now. I filled it up twice. I had to come back twice and, uh, and fill the tank up. It went dry once and then I had to get some more. So I get this almost all done here now. Just a, just a little bit of clean up around the doors. Nothing, nothing big now. Most everything is all done. Take a look at this. All this snow has been cleared. Look at the banks next to our, next to our uh, gazebo, our sun, uh, our sun room there. Okay, I had to clean out this uh, window well here. This is Katie's kitchen downstairs in the basement. So I had to make sure she had some natural light going in there. Here's the vent for our green tech. Okay, for our, uh, for our air exchange in the house. Try to make sure that was open, as well as this one right here. This is a dryer vent, I do believe. So that had to be made sure that was open. Had to clear it, two garbage boxes. They're done. This step here going into our kitchen, all cleared away. The front driveway that can hold three vehicles is all cleared right out to the road. And this main patio here, I got a little bit left here, you know, but I might fool around with that later on this evening or tomorrow when I when I come home from school. Got most of this front patio cleared away. So at least we can go back and forth now very easily. Okay. A large snow event is what I would call this. Not a snow day for sure. A large snow event. This snow that fell here in Gander, Newfoundland, Labrador, it started around 3 a.m. Friday morning. And folks, it hasn't, it hasn't let up until today, in the last few hours, actually. It's nice and sunny here now. And I have one more fairly large job to do. So I'm gonna go back and do that. That's uh, that's Katie's step going into her basement apartment. Now, I had to make sure that's clear for sure for emergency reasons. Katie does use this door uh, going back and forth. So as you can see, there's a, there's a fair bit of snow there. So I'm gonna clean that up. I've got the two doors to my garage opened. A little bit of snow there, but not a, not a lot. A couple of shovelfuls and I'll have that cleaned up. Back here to our outdoor kitchen. That's all cleared up. And look at those, look at those raised beds that I was bragging about a few days ago, eh? Thursday, actually, I stood here in this exact same spot and showed you those raised beds. And you can see them all in their glory. Every last bit of it, you can see the crushed stone here as well. But look now. <laughs> I was saying on Thursday that they should be under three or four feet of snow. Well, <laughs> I guess that's, I guess I got my wish because that's about what's there. There's about three feet of snow there for sure, for sure. Not going to be getting into the greenhouse anytime soon. And that's also for sure. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to get at Katie's step there. Now. I have Katie's step back here, her bridge leading into her apartment. All cleared off with the snow. Now I'm going to just put on a little bit of salt here now. There's a bit of ice build up on these steps. So the salt will help melt that ice and make it not so slippery for Katie going back and forth. Um, I want to tell you something. Uh, in the last three or four days, when, we, when I've been recording these videos, and we've been talking about Punxsutawney Phil, we've also been talking about Shubanakity Sam. There's also, there is also Wyerton Willie in Ontario, Canada. And here's my take on it. I hate brown hogs. I don't think I told you that before, but I do. I hate brown hogs. <laughs> I hate them, especially when they're right. 
six more weeks of winter folks not looking forward to that at all not at all gonna end up doing lots more of this shoveling snow and sprinkling salt not my favorite pastime i can tell you but i do enjoy bringing you these videos folks and we want to thank you so very very much for tuning in and watching them always and supporting our youtube channel we are gbl the old church five acre homestead enjoy this clip of that backhoe that we hired on saturday and again folks thanks so very very much for tuning in thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing take care folks until the next video